A very pleasant morning to all my dear little kids. Welcome you back to English Online Class. How are you all doing children? I hope you all are doing great and staying safe at home. Yes? Okay children. Let's start our today's session. We are discussing lesson 3, The Bird with the Broken Wing, written by Florence Holbrook. Our story, The Bird with the Broken Wing, is presented in the form of dialogues and that is called a play. We have some characters in our play and who are those characters children? We have oak tree, maple tree, willow tree, spruce tree, pine tree, juniper tree, forest fairy and also Jack Frost. These are the characters of our story and our scene of the story takes place in the forest. Okay, so the birds are flying towards the south. It's winter season. The birds are migrating towards the southern parts in order to escape from the winter and also in search for their food. The trees like oak tree, willow tree and maple tree were watching these birds flying over them towards the south. And they wished, these trees, they wished that the birds do not take rest on them. See the attitude of the trees? They are very selfish, isn't it? Yes. They are not ready or they are not willing to give some space for these little birds. And as they wished, and they were very happy because the birds, all of them flew towards the south. Except one little bird was flying below and it landed on the ground. The little bird was not able to fly any longer as its wing has broken and was feeling very really cold and tired. So the little bird decided that it would take rest tonight in the forest on these trees. So it first approached the oak tree and requested the oak tree to give him shelter. Did the oak tree give him shelter? No, it rejected. The oak tree rejected and told that already its branches are occupied by the squirrels and who want to eat up the acorns of the oak tree. So the oak tree rejected his request. Next, a little bird approached the maple tree. Maple tree was so handsome. But maple tree also rejected its request, his request. The maple tree told that it would disturb the leaves of the tree. So it also rejected or turned away this little bird. The little bird then decided to approach the willow tree as the little bird felt that willow tree would be very kind. The willow tree was also not ready to take in this little bird. Taken means allow someone to stay. It was not ready because it didn't like any strangers. It told that it doesn't know anything about this bird. This bird, little bird is totally a stranger, an unknown bird to the tree. So it was not ready to accept or give shelter to this little bird. So the little bird felt very disappointed as all the trees rejected its request. The trees didn't allow this little bird to take rest on them. By now, our little bird was shivering with cold. It means its body was shaking with cold and it was feeling very weak. It was feeling very weak because it was feeling weak and tired because it was feeling very hungry. At that time, the spruce tree offered help to this helpless bird, to this wounded bird. The spruce tree told the little bird to hope on. Hope on means to climb onto the branches of the spruce tree and take shelter on its branches. So a little bird immediately climbed on its branches and said that it was feeling very cozy and warm. Cozy means it was feeling very comfortable, warm and relaxed on the branches of spruce tree. So our little bird expressed its gratitude, expressed its thankfulness for the kindness of the spruce tree. At that time, a pine tree also offered some help to this little bird. The pine tree told that it would protect the little bird from the north wind. North wind is a cold wind that flows from the northern parts. 
So the spine it told that it would act as a blanket to this little bird. So it would feel very warm on the branches of the spruce tree. At that time, another tree, the juniper tree, told that I am not so strong as the oak tree. I cannot protect you from north wind, but I can offer you something else. I can give you my fruit so that you can get rid of your hunger. So you can eat up my berries and you will feel very good. So this little bird was now very happy. It thanked all the trees, spruce tree, pine tree and the juniper tree for their extreme kindness. And it ate up the berries. Now a little bird doesn't feel any more cold or hungry. And it thanked all the trees and said that it would like to sleep now. So it wished good night to all the trees and it went off to sleep. This stops our scene one. The first scene ends with little bird happy and cozy with his new friends. Who are his new friends children? Pine tree, spruce tree and the juniper tree. Now let's see what happens in the second scene. So before moving to the explanation, let's read the story once. Page number 32, scene 2, midnight in the forest. Jack Frost. Here I am in the great forest. How I dislike touching all these beautiful leaves. But I must obey the orders of King Winder. Here comes a forest fairy. Forest fairy, Mr. Frost, I know that you must touch all the leaves and turn them into shades of gold and brown. But, Jack Frost, but what, dear fairy? Forest fairy, I must tell you, such a dear little bird came to the forest this evening. He had a broken wing and he was cold and very tired. He asked shelter from the great took, the proud maple and the graceful willow and all refused. Jack Frost. What? Did all the trees refuse to help a poor, tired little bird? Forest Fairy. Just as I was about to speak to the trees, I heard Spruce Tree tell him to come to her branches and that she would give him shelter. Then Pine Tree kept the north wind from him and Juniper Tree gave him her berries to eat. Could you dear Jack Frost? Jack Frost. Yes, sir, I know what you want to ask. Such kindness should be rewarded. The leaves of the proud oak, maple and willow trees shall fall to the ground when the cold winter comes. But spruce, pine, juniper and their families shall keep their leaves and they shall be green all through the year. They shall be called evergreen trees. Children, our second scene also takes place in the forest, but the time is midnight. Midnight means 12 o'clock at night. Our first scene took place in the evening. It is in the second scene. We meet our remaining two characters of the story. Who are they, children? They are Jack Frost and Forest Fairy. The second scene is a conversation between Forest Fairy and Jack Frost. Children, who is a fairy? Have you heard about fairies? Yes, fairies is an imaginary being of human form which looks like a or who looks like a human being. And they have magical powers. And they are especially female fairies. And they would be very small person with wings. Okay, so fairy is an imaginary being which or who looks like a human being with wings. And now, children, what is a frost? Have you heard about frost? Frost is a covering of tiny crystals on a cold surface formed from water vapor in the air. So it looks like a white powdery appearance. It is small ice crystals. So what is a frost, children? Frost is a small ice crystals that covers the grass on cold winter, in cold winter. Now, Jack Frost has appeared in the scene to cover 
all the leaves with frost and make them dry. It is his duty. So why did Jack Frost come to the forest children? Jack Frost has come to obey the orders of King Winder. Who is King Winder children? King Winder is the one who brings winter and snow. Means King Winder is a person who brings the winter season. But Jack Frost didn't like touching all these beautiful leaves because Jack Frost touch will cover the leaves with frost making the leaves wither. Wither means dry. So when he touch all the leaves in the forest it would be covered with frost. Frost means this tiny ice crystals. It would be covered with frost and it would make the leaves dry. So he doesn't like to touch all the leaves. Just then another character appears into the scene that is our forest fairy. A forest fairy appeared and she said, I know you have come to do your duty. What is the duty of the frost? It is his duty to touch all the leaves and turn them into shades of gold and brown. Means it will become dry. But I have a request and then she narrated all what happened in the forest. How the oak tree, maple tree and the willow tree misbehaved to the poor, tired little bird. Forest fairy told to Jack Frost that all the trees like the maple tree, oak tree and the willow tree refused. Refused means they didn't give shelter to a little bird who had a broken wing and who was very cold and tired. Forest fairy told that it was a spruce tree who gave him shelter and the pine tree who protected him from north wind and it was a juniper tree who gave him the berries to eat. Now Jack Frost understood what a forest fairy was about to request to him, what she was going to ask and he told that such kindness should be rewarded. Jack Frost said these words to a forest fairy. And children, what is a kindness being discussed here? What is a kindness they are talking about? The kindness they are talking about is a kindness shown by the spruce tree, juniper tree and the pine tree to the little bird. And what kindness did these trees show children? The spruce tree gave the little bird shelter and the pine tree protected the little bird from the north wind and the juniper tree gave her berries to eat. What reward was given to these trees for their kindness children? They were rewarded in such a way that their leaves will never fall off even in winter season. Their leaves will never shed during the winter season just like other trees. Whereas the leaves of the proud oak, maple and the willow trees shall fall to the ground when the cold winter comes. So that was a punishment given to the oak tree, maple tree and the willow tree. So children, how did Jack Frost reward the helpful trees and punish the selfish ones? Jack Frost rewarded the helpful trees, spruce tree, pine tree, juniper tree and all their families by letting them keep the leaves green all through the year. Hence, they were called evergreen trees. But he punished the selfish and proud oak, maple and willow trees by making them shed their leaves in cold winter. So this was a punishment given to the proud trees like oak, maple and willow trees. Whereas the helpful trees like spruce, pine, juniper and their families can keep the leaves green all throughout the year. Their leaves will be green during all the seasons. So children, what is a moral lesson that you received from the story? That we should be kind to each other because 
we all need each other to live a happy life at times sometimes we need other people's help and support to survive to live so we should be kind to each other only then we can lead a happy life children i hope you understood the story so read the story once more and download the notes that are attached and write it in your english notebook so children it's time to wind up our session that's all for today see you in the next class